Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Yenas Academy. Friends, on April 16th, 2024, Dubai got its heaviest rainfall that causes a massive flooding situation. 144 millimeters of rainfall occurred in Dubai. That is, two years of rainfall occurred in just only 24 hours. And that causes everything hampered, all the malls, hospitals, schools, everything got hampered in Dubai. So friends, what was the reason behind this massive rainfall? Some people says it is artificial rain. Some people says it's a climate change. So friends, please comment what you think about this massive rainfall in Dubai. Well friends, I personally think this is just because of the artificial rain. Thousands of experiments were conducted in Dubai because basically Dubai, uh, Iran, Kuwait, the all of the Middle East, those particular areas comes under the rainfall deficit countries. It means like the per year, the average millimeter of the rainfall, it is very, very at the lower side. So that's why they have to conduct this artificial rain experiments the cloud seeding experiments and just before this particular uh, incident there was the notably conducted experiments in dubai and just because of that there were a huge rainfall occurred in dubai so friends in this our today's video we are going to talk about the cloud seeding what is cloud seeding friend just pause this video and please comment what do you think about the cloud seeding it is a weather modification technique that, uh, you know, that makes artificial rain. Insertion of the potassium iodide, silver iodide or dry ice into clouds. It means the clouds are seeded with those of the materials. Now, just because of these materials, a condensation occurred in the clouds and that forms a water droplets, a heavy water droplets. And when these water droplets becomes too heavy, it falls on earth as a rain, as a snowfall. <laughs> so this is a very simple technique of the cloud seeding. Why this uh, silver iodide, potassium iodide and dry ice? Basically friends, silver iodide and the potassium iodide, they, they having the molecular structure very similar to that of the water. And just because of this similarity in structure, these uh, materials, these substances attracts the moisture and forms a water droplet. And whenever this water droplets becomes too heavy, it falls down as a rain or as a snowfall. So friends, over here, the condensation is very much important in the clouds. In some of the areas, this condensation will not happen. In some of the areas, the natural water cycle gets hampered. That is the evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and then collection. All the collected water like uh, stored in the river or in the sea, just because of the sun, it gets evaporated. It forms a, like uh, the clouds. And whenever the clouds gets condenses, condenses, it forms a water droplet and then it precipitates in the form of rain. So that is a very simple natural water cycle. But in some areas, this uh, water cycle gets hampered just because there there is no enough condensation occurred just like uh, if you look at all around the globe such as in the middle east uh, in some part of the russia in some part of the alaska uh, africa these are the countries where notably very much amount very little rain occurred in every year so it is very much important because uh, water is very essential criteria in our life. So it is very necessary to conduct some of the cloud seeding experiments over there in order to gain water. So in order to fulfill the need of water, just this cloud seeding is required. Now friends, there are two different types of the cloud seeding. 
first one is the ground based cloud seeding and the second one that is the airplane based aircraft based in this ground based cloud seeding the the ground stations are there the small small rockets are there these rockets these rockets are filled up with this silver iodide powder these rockets like shoots up in the clouds and this powder spreads like inside those clouds this is a very ground based uh, kind of the uh, cloud seeding technique we just need to control it through the remote remote control that's very simple a rocket is shot up in the air in the clouds it bursts in the cloud and throws out uh, throws away the silver iodide powder in the clouds that is a very simple ground based technique in the other one the next technique that is throwing the silver iodide through the airplane flares all the flares are attached to the wings of an aircraft and it gets thrown away that powder into the clouds so this is a airborne based type of the cloud shading however this is a very costly type of the cloud shading ground based technique is very way cheaper than this aircraft based so this particular cloud shading technique does not guarantee rainfall so friends this is how the cloud shading works and we can carry out the artificial rains in some of the rainfall deficit areas so friends tell me in the comments what you think about this cloud shading technique weather modification technique so i hope you like our today's video if you have any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational youtube channel engineers academy thank you